That's great. Uh, Phil has got, he's, you're on the half, and he's got a lot of family and friends, and they're not all going to be able to go watch him run, you know? So, I mean, you've got a lot of fans who, are, who, are, who want to know how you do in the race. So, how can you find out, uh, is, there, is there some TV coverage that we could uh, follow them? Yep, absolutely. We're very excited this year. We've partnered up with CBS Channel 9. They'll be doing two-hour coverage of the event. So you'll be able to turn it on wow, race nice. morning, it's kind of watch what's going on. Um, we'll also <laughs> <Yeah>, have, <laughs> yeah, they're going to have vignettes, um, all the interesting human interest stories, um, and then they'll have leaderboards going for all the elite athletes. Um, so we have 56 this year, so it'll wow. be an exciting Exciting race to watch. So I'm like a TV production geek, you know. So have you been working pretty closely with the Channel 9 CBS staff to like supply these storylines yep. and like give them sort of like a production schedule mm -hmm. that you would think would be benefit a benefit to like all the viewers out there? Yep, exactly. We've um, we've taken them actually out on course. They've done a staff ride with us, um, so they know all the great places to hit. Um, we've been working with our charity groups, um, and we've been publicizing to our runners to send interesting stories in. So um, there will be eight different stories featured, and they'll each be about eight minutes. Wow. So. And it's going to be from the elite to the middle of the back of the pack, or it's going to be a little mm -hmm. bit of everybody. Exactly. That's great. What is, so, so you know, you'll be able to follow the elites mm -hmm. on TV. What is the uh, marathon record course time? Sure. Um, for the women, it's 2.48, and for men, it's 2.21. We think both of those times are going to be broken this year. Um, like I said, Michael already is shooting for uh, a sub-2.20, and uh, we have about six women trying to qualify for Olympic trials this year. The qualifying time is 2.46. So, so we'll they have, have to break the course right, record, right? So we'll have a nice lead pack of women working together, um, which is exciting. Hey, you guys, so. when are we going to bring the Olympic trials to D.C.? Why don't oh, we get, the, get on the ball with that? Actually, yeah, um, we're working on yeah. that right now. We're doing some wow. of the preliminary research. Um, we're saying, why not D.C. for 2016? We're the nation's capital. Um, we wow. think we have a great platform for it. Breaking so. news on that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, well, we, yeah, we, have, we have been yeah. looking into that that's and awesome. doing that would our be research. That's really, really so. exciting. Mm -hmm. Do you know where the 2016 Olympics are? Ooh, I don't Ooh, know. <laughs> uh, I know, it's, the trial, I know it's London, and then I, I forget the next one. Um, Ooh, that'd be a good marathon. All right, I got some I got some trivia questions for you, and then hopefully she can give us <laughs> give us the. I'm not ready for these. Give us the answer. <laughs> Phil, marathon. how many volunteers do you think will be out there at the national marathon? <sighs> well, the national marathon will probably have I would say five thousand volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> and elites, what's the yeah, what's the answer to that? It takes about a thousand volunteers to put on the wow. event between course wow. marshals, water stops. Um, some of these water stops, you, the early on water stops, we need about forty volunteers per station. Um, wow. In between finish line festival, our kids event, the health and fitness expo. Is there something that like a race director can do? Like, say, all of a sudden you find mm -hmm. out it's gonna be like 100 degrees, and you like there might be like a need for more water mm -hmm. or Gatorade. Is there anything you like you can do to adjust on the fly to get those supplies there? Or you... We don't like to adjust on the fly at the national marathon. We like to <laughs> prepare for every scenario. So you know, if it's we prepare for it to be a freezing cold day, and we also prepare for it to be a little bit warmer uh, than normal. The good thing about a March 26 day is you're not going to get a 90 right. degree day. You could get a 70 degree day, which is going to feel hot right. after training in the winter. So that, that leads me to my second trivia mm -hmm. question. How many gallons or water bottles are going to be out there on the course? How many runners did you say there were? I'm a, I'm a ma I got a math degree 16, too. So 16,000 runners mm -hmm. yeah. times I would say the average runner for 16,000 runners. I'll say uh, half hour show here, buddy. 100,000 gallons of water. <laughs> Yep, that's right. We use about <laughs> we use about a hundred and ten thousand uh, gallons of water. Nice. That's um, good. We'll have sixteen thousand of the water bottles to pass out at the end of the race, and we go through about a hundred thousand of those little paper cups. Wow! So and and you have how many w stations on the course? You have both nutrition stations mm -hmm. and water stations. We right? have about six stations where you'll be able to get goo, um, starting as early as mile three. Um, so you should always have that have an option for nutrition on the course. Um, and we have about 13 water stops. Is that wow. goo instead of Gatorade then? Um, we're using goo and Powerade. And Powerade, okay. Mm -hmm. Powerade, right. All right, then my last trivia question for you, 
Phil. Is, I did good with the last uh, one. You did. She, you told, did. Me, she, she told me before. The yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> is how many porta potties are going to be out there on the course? Uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> they never have porta potties on races, do they? Right. No, I've, I've run them just a half there before. They definitely have porta potties, definitely and do. they're in good locations uh, absolutely. too. Absolutely. We have about 350 nice. on wow. the course. We have so we've the, increased. From and the start line will be well taken care of too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. We're hoping to. We're not hoping. We will have them in more visible areas. We'll have more out there on the starting line for you. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, a thousand volunteers. Are you still in need of volunteers, or we absolutely are still in need okay. of some volunteers. We're about five weeks to go. Um, there's all different positions from water station to course marshals uh, to our kids race. That will be fun to go yeah. over. Yeah. Um, Do you need any TV announcers? Chris would be happy. Yeah. To be here. <laughs> Chris is going to no. be out racing. I'm going to be done right. before anybody else is no. done. No. <laughs> No, no, no. So we are in need of volunteers. Um, yeah. There's information on our website, nationalmarathon.com. Okay, and, and can people still still sign up? Are you guys closed yet? We're not closed yet. We're very close to um, shutting down the half marathon um, and closing that out. So if you're thinking about running it, I, uh, I would sign up right. soon. Um, we still have some spots available in the marathon and um, the team relay as well. And you will be able to sign up on race day as, or uh, sorry, at the expo as long as it's not shut down. So for the Great. team relay. So what do I, when I run the race, what do I get? Do I, I, am I going to get a medal, a shirt, or what, 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 what are the, kind of the premium, premiums <laughs> besides that? Let's talk about me here. What am I going to get? Sure, you will get your race goodie bag, of course, okay. um, and you will get your Run DC t-shirt. Um, and then you'll also, our medals are one of our most popular um, giveaways at the races. People love them. Um, this year, we're going to have one that features, uh, we'll have it features the Supreme Court and then the Capitol. Um, and you'll have it with the Run DC ribbon with the little course map. So... Wow. Yeah. That's always the reward that people sign up for these races. They want that bling at the end of the race. It's true. People definitely look at the medals. It's the trophy on is, the mantle. Is he going to get the same medal that I get for running only half the distance that I'm going to nope, run? Nope. Um, we're going to have Good. different monuments <laughs> on the half and the full medals. So they'll, they'll look similar. It'll be slightly different design. Yeah. Um, it is a real positive race, and on a more serious note, mm -hmm. yeah, is there anything you can, you can touch on, like the, the positive impact on the D.C. Mm -hmm. communities, uh, all the different ANCs, are they really engaged in this race and excited about mm -hmm. it? Yep, um, we've had a ton of support this year from city government, city officials, and the communities. Um, the great thing about our race is it just doesn't involve runners. It engages the entire community. So we get people out there at our cheer stations. Um, we get the schools involved, the parents involved. Local businesses love to be involved on race day. I mean, that's very important to us to get out, and it helps spread our health and fitness message as well. And then they get the guys up in, in, in Adams Morgan that have set up their own, you know, unassociated beer stations as well. <laughs> well, we always have some of that. That's what makes the marathon fun. Um, we do ask at our cheer stations that people don't give the runners food. Um, right. You don't so want any type of potential issue there exactly. for sure. I, I'm, I'm always I'm always curious what what you are going to be specifically. What is y y your game plan for race day? You're obviously not running, so what sure, what I'm, is it you're going to be doing? I'm not going to be running. I'm actually going to be all over. I'll be working a little bit with the elites. I'll probably be doing a little bit of work at the start and finish. Um, I'll be out at the health and fitness expo. I'll be I'll be everywhere on race day. So and this will be my first marathon yeah. cycle. So I'm kind of excited to see how it all comes together. Right. Now, I know Adrian Fenney, the former mayor of New mm -hmm. City, had run in this thing probably almost every year. Do you, now that he's no longer mayor, is the new mayor going to be running or any <laughs> other political VIPs that you can tell us about? Um, we do have a couple of council members involved in the race. Um, Vincent Gray will not be running, right. but we're hoping that he'll come out on race day and support our event. And what, do, you, do you know who the official starter is going to be? It says, you know, shoots the gun off. and I don't have that information don't yet. don't have that information mm -hmm. yet, okay. Well, maybe if you wanted to start it. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Hargis, got to get running. <laughs> yeah, start your engines it. and get running. Got to get running. That's right. Well, good. Well, uh, we, we definitely appreciate you, you, you joining us here. That's a lot of great information. I'm really looking forward to the event. So did I hear you say that you're starting to expand your, your race series? You have a Pumpkin 5? 5k race and are you, is, it, is the vision like down the road to increase that you know aside from the olympic right. trials like you know like i know the marine corps marathon mm -hmm. has expanded their race series right. exponentially over the years is that something that you guys 
kind of envision doing for yourselves? We're always looking on taking new events that make sense for our community and for our cause. We always have to look at the mission, which is children's youth sporting events, um, and also promoting DC as a destination um, for tourism. So we are looking down the line at taking on some more endurance events. Do you have a sense on how many people will, th this marathon will bring into Washington, D.C.? Sure. Um, in 2010, about 40% of the runners were from outside of the region. Wow. Um, so the number increases every year. Our first year, it was only about 25%. This year, um, so far, we have 35 countries represented. Wow. 35 countries? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, that's pretty remarkable. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, so are more of the people coming from out of town for the full marathon or the half marathon, or is it pretty? You know what? People come for both. I mean, D.C. is a destination family uh, place to come. So it's one of those places where the whole family can come, the parents can run the race, and then you can spend the whole weekend here doing all of your historical activities, museums. Um, so we have out-of-towners from both from both fields. And do you have like tour, got, tour packages, ideas for them at all, or like discounted hotels or anything? That um, we do. On our website, we have options for you to contact hotels and book group rates. That's great. Um, they give you the full VIP yeah, treatment. Um, we, have the, um, we have the pasta dinner the night before, so oh, you don't yeah. have to make reservations. Right. You can just get tickets to that. This year, it's actually going to be at the Health and Fitness Expo, so we're having it catered uh, right in the stadium to make it convenient for runners. Nice. You cater mm -hmm. something like that. Um, you know, I'm not sure who our catering yeah. company is, <laughs> right. but... Um, Make sure you go get a big carbo load for your big race, man. Absolutely. So it's Saturday, March 26th, mm -hmm. 7 a.m. downtown. Right. So look for myself, look for, for Phil and the, the half marathon and around uh, 16 other... 16,000 16, of our other exactly. uh, in race morning friends. logistics. I mean, I've done the sure. race twice. I mean, it's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I like to drive down. Mm -hmm. I don't mind parking right. a mile or two from the start line and right. like getting mm -hmm. my little warm up from there. So there's there's yeah. actually plenty of parking in the neighborhoods. I know people are probably advised to take Metro. Is Metro give you early exactly. start openings or anything? Um, Metro will open at 5 a.m. on race day and we're encouraging everyone who can to take Metro um, down. It's the easiest way to get to the start line. Um, RFK Stadium has a stop right there. Mm -hmm. um, if you do drive on race day, we're asking everyone to make sure they're in the parking lot um, at least half an hour before so they have time to find parking and get to where they need to be. It's going to be awesome, man. Um, yeah, Metro, I mean, there's no easier way to get downtown to, to RFK than taking Metro. And, uh, you know, it's great. Um, Elise, it's been a real pleasure having yeah, you on the, on the show so today. Much. I mean, just, <laughs> she's loaded with information. I mean, Absolutely. she knew all the stats. I mean, everything about all the runners and the aid stations. I mean, you got it going on. I mean, and it will show on race day just how, you know, awesome and organized yeah. this race is. I mean, you'll see there's no better way to see Washington, D.C. than with the streets closed to yourselves. So you can go running through the entire city. I mean, it's, there's probably no bigger, better city to run through in America than Washington, D.C. And in my opinion, you know, it's great. Um, it's a great event. Um, Chris, you'll yeah. finally be able to experience the full marathon. I, I, I'm, and I'm, I'm excited. excited yeah, there. I'm excited. I haven't run the event, and we have a, a, a ton of customers running the event, and they, they've always given you know rave reviews. So look, looking forward to doing it. It's at a great time of year. You're gonna have, chances are you're going to have awesome weather. Again, that's Saturday, March 26, 2011 at 7 a.m. It's a fantastic race. Get signed up for that half marathon before it sells out, and if not, you'll just have to... Go out and run the full marathon. There's nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and what's the website? One more time. It's nationalmarathon.com. Awesome. Okay, right. Elise, thanks hey. for coming on the show. Thank for you. The, and, and for the National Marathon. Chris, good to see you again. You too. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on Gotta Get Running. Goodbye, everybody.